Welcome back team, I'm Juliet and today we're doing 35 minute full body Pilates with weights. If you're new to my channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe. Hit your bell button guys so you stay on top on your daily fitness. All you will need today is a 2-3 pounds weight, your commitment, I will guide you through and let's crush this workout together. Let's begin. Alright team, so let's begin our workout with a quality warm up first. Let's begin today on our knees. So set your wrists, elbow, shoulders, as always, one on top, another, and knees underneath the hips. And go ahead and give me gentle back opener, up and down. And let's do it for the few times to make sure that we wake up that back for good and we have an effective and safe workout. We always want to do the warm up. Press those hands into the floor, into your mat, and one more time. Go ahead and reach up and take yourself back, guys, to the neutral position. Take your right arm forward, left leg back. Give me a good, strong lengthening all the way through the fingertips to the toes. And place it hand back, rounded spine, relax your neck, drop the head. Do it from the other side, guys. Reach all the way, arm and leg in one level, and keep reaching, guys. Toes away from the fingertips, long extension. Take that hand back all the way around that spine. Relax your neck. Let's do it one more time. And this one, this one time, we're gonna try to catch our ankle. See if that's available for you. If not, don't worry about it for right now. Just keep your arms and legs extended. Four, guys, three, two, and let's go ahead and round that spine, relax your neck. Do it from the other side. Left arm, guys, and right leg all the way long, extended arms and legs, and see if you can catch up on that ankle. If not, don't worry. Again, just do what you can do the best today. We're gonna have super effective workout. Reach, reach, reach ankle away from the shoulder blades. Take it back, exhalation. All right, tuck your toes. Let's wake up our legs and back even more and start to bend, guys, your one knee at a time. Just bend your right knee, then bend your left knee, and again, bend your right knee. Shoulder blades apart, collarbones are wide, and just a couple more times on each side. Focus, guys, on your long extended back in this position. Good job. All the way. Take your knees back on the floor, guys, to your tabletop or to your hover position to waken up the shoulders, wrists, elbows. Keep on breathing. If you do do your hovers, try to do the good hover. When those knees just an inch or maybe two inches away from your mat. Four, guys. Three, two. So proud of you. Take it all the way back. Reach your right leg up and open. Put your left foot slightly behind. Open up and find your first balance. Reach all the way overhead. Four, three, two, and take it back. We will do the same thing from the other side. Reach your left leg up and extend it. Draw your right leg slightly behind for stability and support. Excuse me, my back and guys, go ahead and Reach, extend, and expand to all directions. Focusing on the center, applying your first Pilates principle, your centering rounded spine. Relax your neck. We're gonna go for more active warm up. So we will start just with the right leg. We're gonna take the right and draw that knee, chin, chest, or belly. Give me seven more. Seven, guys. In, reach. Six, reach. Five, point your toes. Good, all the way. Three, two, and one. And we're gonna move to the other side. Go ahead and point your toes on the left. Let's go. One, try to draw it all the way towards the nose. Two, and three, and four, and five, and six, to left, up, all the way around the spine, draws the knee, and back. 
Wonderful. So we start to warm up. Tuck your toes in dynamic upside down V to your tabletop. First eight, and then we're gonna do the hovers too. Try to guys extend all the way and expand to the full version of it. Shift your weight away from the shoulders towards your hips, guys. It's a light touch in the tabletop. Good work. And we have two more. Beginners, if that already load for you, continue to do like this or hover with me. And we go for seven more. And six hands firm on the floor. And five, guys. Finish that hover if you're going with me. And four. And three. And two. And last one. Awesome work, guys. We will go ahead and continue our dynamic warm up. One more exercise. That's gonna be upside down V, knee to the opposite elbow plank. Ready, set, and let's go. We go one, all the way back. Two, beautiful. Try to reach your full plank. Three, good work. Four, don't quit. We have only four left. Four left. Three left. You've got it. Two left, and one left. Congratulations, I am so proud of you. Good warm up, as always I mean it. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells and your first exercise with the dumbbells today is gonna be in your plank. I'm using, guys, three pounds today. You don't have to use the heavy weights. We're just gonna start with the one dumbbell for now in the other hand. So grab your right hand dumbbell and make sure if you need to put your knees on the floor, put your knees on the floor. We're ready for the first set of rows. Eight, seven, same. Six, give me quality rows. Five, four, I know, three, and two, and one. Hold it with me, guys. We only hold for eight. Seven, put your knees on the floor if you have to. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch the arm. We still stay in the plank or plank on our knees. Get ready for the quality. One, two, watch that plank. Three, four, guys. Watch that elbow, wrist and shoulder on that supportive arm, guys. Two, one, and hold, guys. Seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Active arm. Good work. So we're gonna do one more set of the rows, but this time we're gonna do the row and tricep extension. So go ahead and switch your hands again. Keep the abs tight and focus on your first Pilates principle, centering. Control the movement, that's your second principle. Let's go one, two, three. Beautiful. Up, two, three. Remain, one, two, three. Good work, guys. Up, two, three, only four left. Four, extend, back, three left, three, extend, back. It's challenging on that supportive arm. We can do it one more time. And up, kick, back, return. Excellent, we will switch the arms, so get ready. That arm is rested, not as, not as tired. We're using the light weight. Check your wrist, elbow, shoulder, very important. Let's go, one, kick, back, control, two, kick, back, control, three, kick, back, all the way, guys. Level those hips all the way. Four left, kick it, back, together. Don't quit, no matter what. Get on your knees, guys, if you have to. One more, up, kick it, back, good job. When we work with our weights, even light weights, it's important to keep the resistance, guys, and control the weights. If you can't control the weights, that means the weights are too heavy. We're going back to the plane, guys, all the way. So this time, we're gonna go ahead and do our rotations and arm lift all the way. Get ready, set, and let's go. One, only eight on each side. Two, you've got it. And three, beautiful rotation, guys. And four, with me, guys, stay with me, pick up the pace with me as well. 
five, I know you can, six, and seven, you got it, and eight, excellent. We're going to switch the arms, do exactly the same. So you need to put your knee on the floor and do more gentle rotations, you can. Otherwise, stick with me, take your wrist over shoulders, let's go. One, fully, two, fully, and three, guys. Full extension in that elbow, four, you got it. We have only four left, four to go. Keep on breathing, three to go, inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the mouth if you have to. I really need you to breathe what feels comfortable and right for you. The worst thing you can do is to hold your breath when you're not supposed to. All right, we're going back to the plank. I know, this time we're gonna grab two dumbbells in one hand if you can. Set your knees on the floor. We're gonna be reaching and doing our four overhead presses. Ready, set, come on guys, and one, two, stay in the side plank, three, four, all the way, switch the hand. Ready, and rotate. One, two, three, four, all the way, guys. Switch your sides. Come on up. One, two, three, you've got it. Four, we ready to switch the sides. All the way back with me. Come on, one, two, keep that side plank, three, and four, all the way, switch the sides. We have only two on each side. One, two, three, two rounds, I meant, four, all the way, switch, guys. Come on, almost there, and one, two, three, four, all the way back. Only one on each side, you can do it. Come on, guys. One, two, three, and four. Challenging. Last one. Come on, come on, come on. Muscle up. Watch your wrist, watch your position. And one, two, three, and four. All the way. Beautiful work. I am, guys, so proud of you. Amazing job. We're going to be going back to the side planks at the very end of our workout today. So grab your two dumbbells, take your knees a little bit wider, toes together and tuck them, and go ahead and reach those dumbbells all the way above the head. We're just gonna be steady, holding them, and slowly release the hips. Release, squeeze the glutes, release, squeeze the glutes, Release, excellent. Squeeze the glutes. We're gonna add the arms. Release. And squeeze the glutes. Release. Squeeze those glutes. You've got it. Down. In up. Inhalation. Exhalation. Contract your belly. Exhalation. Contraction. Go eight. Together, guys. Seven. All the way together. Six. Five, and four, and three, last one, and stay with me now, tuck your toes, put your knees a little bit closer, since we are already here, we're going to do our tricep, and eight, seven guys, six, five, don't put your elbows too far away from your head, but not too close as well. And don't drop the weights. We have only eight left. And 17. And six. Full extension. Five. Those are light weights. Four. And three. And two, guys. And one. So proud of you. Go ahead and switch your position to the seated one. Put your dumbbells somewhere close so you don't look for them long time when we need them let's go ahead and lay down on the floor we're gonna come back to our dumbbells 
after our roll ups empty hands without the dumbbells ready set and let's go and up guys all the way back in up all the way back in three in beautiful and four good job and five reach all the way up six guys breathe last one only last one come on with me in up good work beautiful so we're gonna grab our weights and repeat the set of the roll ups with the dumbbells if you feel that your back cannot support it yet then take one weight or do it without weights ready set and come on up arms following the center that's right in back vertebra by vertebra in two good job in three wonderful and four guys together Woo. five that's it and six good work and seven push it push it push it don't stop and last one give me one more and last one open up those arms Psalms looking towards each other and we go eight press seven press good job guys six you've got it five all the way dumbbells touch good job three left together two left keep those legs strong keep that spine tall last one we're gonna hold it together hold it try to hold it guys 90 degrees above the floor not 45 not 105 90 degrees above the floor four guys three two we almost there rotate your dumbbells stay with me we hold eight seven six raise the elbow guys parallel each other don't drop the trees too low four three and don't lift the shoulders two one in last round of overheads eight seven guys breathe active center active center we have four three two and one super strong my friends go ahead and bend your knees we will stay up here for extended period of time i want you to scoop the belly Feel the abs. If you don't feel the abs, you're not working it. If you feel in your neck and your shoulders, you are too low. So make sure you find a good place for your body. Lift your toes and we're gonna start up here with the single leg extension bicep curl, hammer curl. Let's start with the right leg. One, two, try to extend guys. Those legs all the way through so you can activate kneecaps and quadricep. Come on, guys. All the way. Scoop the belly. All the way. Scoop the belly. Scoop the belly. Beautiful. We have only eight left. I feel my abs. I hope you feel them too. We have six left. All the way. Extend the leg. Flex your toes, guys. So you feel Achilles. Only two left. Stay with me, last one. All right, do not leave your abdominal. Hold it up there, scoop the belly in. Dumbbells to the shoulders. We're gonna punch across, punch across. Six, good job. All the way, only four left. Four, wonderful. Three, perfect. Two guys, don't stop, one. All the way, put your dumbbells on the floor, hold your abs tight. Let's go, eight, seven, finish strong. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Take your hands all the way on your feet or on your ankles, whatever you can reach, and stretch that back. Activate that back. And we're gonna go back to that seated position, scoop the belly in. All right, are you ready? Similar block, we're going to replace a couple of exercises. We're still gonna do our punches and rotation for the center. So now, 
make sure again you scoop the belly if you're too high you're not gonna hit the abs and core if you're too low you're gonna feel your neck and your abs a lot so going hot and scoop the belly lean forward shoulders shoulder blades connected and um, collarbones are wide all right guys we're gonna do the regular bicep here and we're gonna do only one leg and a time extensions to hit that quadricep and let's go one two three four only eight on each side five six seven don't quit eight okay keep your biceps switch the left eight full extension on the leg seven six don't come too high guys five with me four three two and one dumbbells on the shoulders it's pouring outside rain here in florida dumbbells to the shoulders let's go eight seven come on guys stay with me six five four three don't wait finish it till the very end with me drop the dumbbells if you have to but finish your punches dumbbells up here check your position on your belly we go eight seven try to reach the elbow on the floor six five four three two one beautiful extend those legs feels good let's reach arms up over and towards your toes if you can't reach your toes do not do that right stay nice and tall and just maybe reach your shins your ankles or even your knees lengthen in the spine all the way guys lengthen in that spine four hold three two we're going back to the scoop the belly seated position yes 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 this time we're going to do around the world arms touch on the floor take it all the way back if you have a shoulder injuries you either going to get even lighter weights or you're going to do it without your weights but i need you all guys into that scoop belly position so you feel your abs activate the center using our pilates principle all right guys all the way arms to the side soms are going to go towards look into each other on the top position scoop the belly and one two one two we have seven like this one two one guys and two and one and two this is number three don't come up guys this is number four all the way and up good job we have only half left less than half left come on guys <sighs> breathe don't hold the breath don't hold the breath inhalation exhalation inhalation exhalation one more time last one my superstars stay with me let's go eight seven punch it out six five four three two guys one put your dumbbells on the floor let's go eight seven six five four three two one all the way back all right guys reach up superstars take it back all the way towards your toes feet ankles or shins reach up and open i want you to lengthen in your back guys four three two and all the way back all right guys we're gonna go back on our tabletop and then we're gonna do our planks so here in our tabletop today we're gonna be working one arm at a time so you're gonna put your one dumbbell aside watch your alignments pull your navel in and we're gonna go for the side lift seven lift what a thunderstorm behind my windows all the way guys <sighs> nice and cozy here in this workout room hopefully you guys feeling good as well and lift guys we have three don't wait two it's time to hold guys for us one and hold 90 degrees seven six activate those arms five four 
three, two, one. Gorgeous. Grab that other dumbbell. Make sure you reach all the shoulders. Stack one on top and other. We're gonna go for eight and then eight count hold. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Get ready. Set your mind for success and hold. Seven, guys, 90 degrees. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. That was something. You're gonna get one dumbbell and put it right in between your calf muscle and your hamstring. Guys, you have to really squeeze the dumbbell. Otherwise, it's just gonna fall and you have to flex your feet so you can hold it nicely. We're gonna start in the position of the 90 degrees. No less, no more. And from here, you're gonna be lifting it even higher. Eight, center. Seven, activate the glute. Six, five, activate the glute. Four, up, seat. Three, don't back bend, guys. Two, one, and hold, guys. Squeeze it tighter. Squeeze it tighter. Three, two, one. This time, hold this leg. Stay with me. We're going to go all the way, draw it towards the knee, chin, chest, or belly. All the way. Reach. And all the way. Oh my goodness, that's a super storm. Outside, you probably can hear it. And reach, guys. This is number four. And reach. Continue to squeeze the dumbbell. Number five. Try not to back bend too much on the way up. Six. Good work. Couple left. All the way in. One more left. Come on, guys. Up, 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 up. We're going to pump together. Eight, seven, six. With the glute, with the leg, not with the back. Four, three, two, one. All the way. Let it go. My goodness, my glute is on fire. Okay, guys, let's switch our sides. You really, really, really have to squeeze that dumbbell and flex your feet. Otherwise, it's going to fall out. Bring that knee 90 degrees above the floor. Check your belly. You're not going to be lifting that weight with your back. And we're going to go from center and up first. One, step center. Two, activate the glute. Three, four, five, six, guys. Seven with me. Eight and hold, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two under knees towards the chin, chest, or belly, all the way. Squeeze it. Lift it. Don't hurry up. I want you to do it with your leg, not with your back. And this is three. Keep flexing your feet, guys. Keep squeezing the dumbbell all the way. Push it. In down. In push it. We have only three left. In push. In two left. In push. Last one. We're ready to pump, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Superstars. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and put our dumbbells away. Come with me to the side plank position. All the way up here. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, one on top another. If you need to put your knee on the floor, Put it on the floor. We're gonna finish our waistline hand obliques. I can't let you go without that. We're going to hip dips. And eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, guys. All the way, four, and higher. Not through the shoulders, through the center. Two, and one, beautiful. We're gonna switch our sides after we do eight tricep push-ups. Ready, set, and go. Just right in between the hands. Seven, guys. Six, five, four, three, two, last one. Superstars. All right, guys, let's switch the sides for the hip dips. 
I want you to work with the center of your body. Use your breath as a driving force. Use your breathing, guys. All the way, arms up, and let's go. One. What a thunder, so scary. Two. Three, guys. Use the center. Four. And five. And six. And seven. Last one. Eight, you've got it all the way back. This time we're gonna do the regular push-ups. Take your hands wider than your mat. You're going to bring the chest right in between your hands. Come on. Eight, guys. Seven, six, five, four. Team three, in two. With me, last one. Finish it. Beautiful. All the way back. We're gonna finish our core work and arms work in the upside down V position. Grab your dumbbells. I love this exercise. We don't do that enough. So you're gonna grab one dumbbell at a time and you're gonna be bringing it all the way, returning back. Bringing it, returning back, and then carry it over back to the position where it was. Let's go. One, all the way. Two, all the way. Again, across, outside. You want guys to put it all the way outside so you hit the obliques while you go crisscross all the way in back. Stay with me. Outside of that foot, guys. Outside of that foot. Bring it back all the way and bring it back. We have one more round. Outside of that foot. Reach with a strong long back. All the way, return it back, and all the way, return it back. Relax the neck, drop your head, look forward, and bring yourself back to the final hover, guys, position. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on back up with me. Wonderful job, everybody. Let's go ahead and straight that body a little bit more reach those arms all the way up and open to one side level those arms guys four three two and reach all the way through the waistline rotation and level those arms four three two take it back take your right arm towards the left foot hips forward and chest up up and over guys breathe we have four three, two, and take it all the way back, arms up, and left towards the right, guys. It doesn't have to be that deep, you can put it on your back. Hips forward, chest stop, guys, four, three, and two, take it back. Make sure that dumbbells are not interfering. Go ahead and step your one leg forward to your low lunge position when you're front, Knee above the front ankle, roll the shoulders. Three, two, and one. Let's open up the chest, guys, together. Expand, and that might be it for you today. If you can connect your hands and give it a little bit deeper opening today, that's awesome. Reach the chest up, all the way express. Four, three, two, and back. Let's slowly switch the position all the way. Front knee above the front ankle. I want you guys to square your hips always in a low lunge and roll the shoulders opposite direction. Three, and two, and one. Now express through the chest. Rib cage is wide, collarbones are wide. If that is enough, stay right there or go ahead and connect your hands Reach yourself all the way up and open, staying down through those hips. Four, three, two, and back up. All the way, let's return back to our seated position. Congratulations, guys. This Pilates workout with dumbbells is over. Thank you for your great commitment. If that was your first class with us, welcome and make sure to subscribe 
hit your belt button so you don't miss our daily workout. Rest well, recover well guys, and I will see you tomorrow.